Yo guys, what is up? Randall here from Crypto Love, and today I wanted to put together a short video to show you how to go ahead and buy cryptocurrencies on Binance. Now, why do I recommend Binance? For a couple of reasons. So, first, they have a lot of Ethereum pairings. Now, oftentimes when you can send Ethereum, it's less expensive than sending Bitcoin. It's also a lot faster, so that way you can get money onto the exchanges, start buying, trading, selling a lot faster. Second, Bit Binance has a lot of the latest cryptocurrencies out there. So a lot of new projects that they have are listed on Binance. And third, they have very good customer service. So not too long ago when Bittrex was having problems with customer service, Binance was not. So for those reasons alone, I recommend Binance. Um, and if you are going to go ahead and start using Binance, if you could use the referral code down in the description here, that would help out the channel a lot. So I really would appreciate that. Now let's get into things. First thing you're going to do is get some Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever over to Binance. So if you haven't done that before, you'll just want to head over to Coinbase. And also if you don't have Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever, and you don't have a Coinbase account, if you want to click the link down in the description, that will help support the channel. Also, when you put in hundred dollars, I'll get $10, you get $10 of free Bitcoin. So it works out very well. And how you'll do that, you can just buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. Like I said, when I'm using Binance, I like to uh, stock it with Ethereum because it gets there a lot faster and there's less charges. So once you have purchased some Ethereum, you'll just go over to this accounts tab and you're going to uh, click on this button that says send Ethereum. So you want to click that and then you need to get the uh, Ethereum address of where you're sending it. Now that Ethereum address is on the Binance exchange. So to do that, you'll have to go over to Binance and open up a Binance account. And then what you'll do is in this upper right hand corner, you're going to go to funds and then click deposits withdrawals. When you click on that, it'll show you a list of all your balances in Binance. Your deposits and withdrawals may look a little bit different than mine. That's because I've chosen this thing to hide the zero balances. Okay, now if we go and click the deposit Ethereum, when we click that, it's going to give us an Ethereum deposit address. You want to copy that address and then enter that address here in Coinbase. And you wanna double, triple, even quadruple check just to make sure that these two addresses are the same because if they are not, you're going to send them to the wrong location and all that Ethereum is going to disappear. So how I like to do it is I look at the last three or four numbers and also the first three or four numbers and I make sure they match on both of these things. Once I made sure that they do match and I've made sure that I want to send the exact amount that I want to send, I'm going ahead and click continue and in my case, I need to verify this with a uh, two-factor authentication. And if you have not done that, I strongly recommend you use two-factor authentication on everything. So Google Authenticator or something along those lines, that helps protect you from having your accounts compromised. Now, after you deposit that, you go ahead back over to Binance and it's going to take a little bit of time for that uh, deposit to be verified. The, the amount of time you need to wait is a lot shorter for Ethereum than it is for Bitcoin just because of the speed of the network, the speed of transactions. Also, the charges, like I mentioned, are a lot less when you use Ethereum. So that's why I recommend that you do use Ethereum to fund your Binance account. It just saves you some, some money. Okay, so once your Ethereum has made it from Coinbase to Binance, what you're going to do is head over to the exchange, and I just use the basic one because it's pretty simple. Generally, what you'll see is this. You can go to the Ethereum markets and find whichever one you're looking for. So in this case, I'm going to exchange Walton Chain for Ethereum, and you can take a look at the charts here. But there are different ways to buy it. So you can either put in a market order price, whatever, or a limit order price, whatever you want that to be, or you can just buy it at the market. The simplest way to do it is buy it at the market. But if you want to be a very technical trader, if you want to wait for the dips to this perfect point, you can go ahead and set your limit orders. To do a market order, you're just going to click market down here. And so that's going to get it to you at the best market price, which is right between these two things. These are the uh, the sells and the buys. So um, basically you'll get the best price between the two. Now you can, you'll have your Ethereum balance listed up here and then you can decide exactly how many Walton you want to buy or you could buy 
a specific amount based on your Ethereum balance. So if I wanted to buy half of my Ethereum balance of Walton coin, I would just click that 50%. If I wanted to buy all, I would click that 100%. Whatever it is, you can go ahead and buy it like that. So in this case, I'm just going to buy 100% Walton coin with my Ethereum balance. So I'm going to go ahead and click buy. And once I've done that, it has purchased the Walton uh, the Walton coin with the Ethereum that I use. And if I want to go double check that, I can just go over to my wallet and verify it. So just go click up to funds, deposits withdrawals, and that'll take you to your wallets. And I can verify that I have purchased some Walton coin there. So it's that simple. That's how you do it. You first buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin on Coinbase. You transfer it to the exchange you want, in this case, Binance. And then you can go ahead and buy it. Simple as that. Now, like I said, Binance has some good things going for it, like you, it has a lot of Ethereum pairings, so cheaper transactions, faster transactions. Uh, also, it has very good customer service. It has a lot of the newer cryptos. The one downside to Binance right now is that you can't set a stop loss on Binance, so you can't do that to prevent your losses. However, I expect in the future they'll be implementing that. So if you guys enjoy this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to mash on that like button. Also, if you do want to open up a Binance account and you use that link down in the description, that helps out the channel a great deal. So I do thank you very much for watching. I hope that helped and I'll catch you later. Peace.